Hey, David. <laughs> Thanks for meeting me. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> yes, you're so welcome. Thank you for taking the time. I think your phone, your video is like upside down or just, uh, there we go. There we go. We're good now. We're good now. Do you see me? I do. I do. Oh. Can you see me okay? Hey, my God, this is my first meeting with somebody from YouTube. <laughs> Are you serious? Right on. And I, and I, I mean, I, I started it a couple years ago, but I, I didn't really start getting serious on, on YouTube until, well, actually, I, I've been serious on it when I started it, which was back in 2017, but I, I didn't know exactly how, I, how to upload or the right way to do it until about 2019. And so like maybe the middle of 2019 is when I finally learned how to really build a YouTube channel. And then from there, you know, people started finding me. So yeah, my God, I, I found some of your videos about culture and stuff. And then when I checked uh, how many videos you have actually uploaded, I was, uh, I was like shocked <laughs> Yes, and that... because it does take a long time to grow the channel and dedication. Yeah, so, it, it, like, it does. And what I always teach on are really, real, as far as when it comes to content, like for social media, a lot of people try to go out there and create the best image or they try to create the best video and, and they want everything to be perfect if they post it. Yeah. I do the opposite. So I don't, I don't create, like I don't worry about the image. I don't worry about the video. I don't worry about, about any of that. What I simply do is just document my day so i'll just take little parts of my day um and i and i and i simply record it so if i'm building a landing page i record it if i'm setting up my email autoresponder i record it if i'm talking to a client um regarding social media and just giving them tips and strategies i'll record it so all i do is just yeah. document what i what this I is got genius on. man this is genius that way it doesn't that way it doesn't take me long that way it doesn't because if you try to create and i learned this from gary vaynerchuk i don't know if you if you follow gary v but yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is where i learned it from is he's he, he simply you know documents and and he was just kind of giving that advice and and when i learned that it changed everything because now it's not like this stuff takes a lot a lot of time for me it actually doesn't like it it doesn't take a lot of time because I'm, I'm just documenting rather than thinking about what I'm going to create next. So I, I don't know if that makes sense, but because a lot of times when we, when we think about what we have to create next, it can, it can, it could take a long time. But, but if I just document like, like for example, this call that I'm having with you, the reason why I, I do a lot of these strategy calls is so I can document it and record it. And this becomes my YouTube video. So yeah. that's what I do. That's what, and that, that comes to, you know, my youtube channel that comes to and even if it was instagram if i was posting something on instagram all i would be doing was is posting you know a video of what i got going on or what i'm currently doing like a, it's it's a day in the life is what i call it and that kind of is what i've been doing since day one but it wasn't until the end of 20, 2019 when i really learned how to be consistent and and that's why you're finding a lot of videos of me because in 2019 a mentor that i was learning from he had at that time he had 40,000 a little over 40,000 subscribers and he was teaching he was teaching me how he did it like how he uploads how he puts his tags and the description and all that stuff and he was saying how he got to 40,000 by simply uploading two a week and and so he he encouraged me and kind of motivated me to do to do two a week for a month but i said forget that i'm going to do one a day for a month and then I did that and that was in December. So December of 2019 is when I put up a video every day for a month. And then after that, I ended up learning from another mentor and she had, she had about 70,000 70, subscribers on YouTube. And she said the way that she got there, or one thing that she did is she put up a video every day for 30, for, she put up a, a video every day for 90 days. So after my 30 day every day, I learned from her to put it up for 90 days and that was January, February, March. So, so I went on a 30 day blitz in December of 2019, put up one every day. And then I learned from her to go for 90 days. So I went January, February, March. And then after March, I said, man, I could do one every day. And so April, every day, May, every day. And all I'm doing is just documenting. Now, this is for YouTube, but I, I always encourage people, whatever you're doing, whatever business you're building, like that's why with you, I'd love to, you know, really see what you're doing and just see how I can help you. But whatever you got going on, I 100% encourage you to start a YouTube channel because whatever you're doing, if you're building an agency, if you're a real estate agent, if you're a, a small business owner, whatever, 
all this content that you're going to put out because you're building a business, you're going to put it out on social media somewhere. I just truly believe that that content should be on YouTube because eventually YouTube is going to start sending you money. Instagram's not going to do that. Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, none of these, none, none of these other platforms that, that you're going to start putting content on is going to pay you. LinkedIn, no one's going to pay you. But, but YouTube, again, I'm not a creator. All I'm doing is documenting. Because of that, now I have the subscriber count. Now I have people finding me, and now YouTube's sending me money every month. And, and, and even if it's just a little bit of money, a few hundred a month, that can still help anybody. So I don't care who you are. Like, if you have a full-time business or you're a full-time student or you have a full-time job, whatever you got going on, document a few minutes of your day and put it on YouTube. Because an extra income, I don't care who you are, an extra income can change your life. Like, I don't care if it's just a few hundred. A few, a few three, four hundred extra a month is a brand new car payment. Like a few hundred, depending yeah. on where you live, you know, 500 a month could be your rent. And that, that's an extra income that will start coming in. And, and that's why, you know, YouTube, I'm, I'm fired up on YouTube because again, where I'm at with the income, not thousands of dollars just yet. But my last one, I'll show you, it was $700. And, and, and this month in, in May, it's going to be over 800. And it's like, man, an extra 700 deposited in my bank account from content that I was going to put out anyways, that's, that's life changing, right? Like an extra 700 yeah. would change your life no matter who you are. That's because of, 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 of YouTube. So I'm grateful and I'm grateful for people like you that are finding me, you know? So yeah, I'm also grateful for people like you who are putting this content there because basically for a week or I don't know for how long I'm like watching your videos all the time, oh, <laughs> listening you. God because bless I'm doing you. some things that I'm like trying to uh, get all this information because generally yes. I'm a, I'm a freelancer. Good. I mean, I started freelancing uh, like uh, half a year ago. And uh, uh, before this, uh, I had like a three-year break from marketing. So somehow now I'm trying to get back into the business. And uh, Good. you have such a, you're giving me so many ideas. It's like uh, I'm rethinking the whole strategy now. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So I'd, I'd love to just maybe help you out and, and see maybe if I can direct you in the right direction. What what country? Oh, are you I don't in? even know what to ask you. Uh, I'm in Bulgaria. Wow. See, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. I've never spoken to anyone. I don't know anyone that lives there. That's the power of, of social media. And again, you could have found me on Instagram. Yeah. You could have found me on Facebook. You could have found me anywhere else. But you found me on YouTube from content that I'm putting out and now YouTube's paying me from it. Like out, the, like put yeah. it this way, out in your country, what would an extra, let's just say 500, if you had an extra $500 USD, is that a lot of income out there? I don't know. What, what is it? Like if you just had an extra income of 500 a month USD? Well, yeah, this would be great. I mean, right? here the minimum salary is something like, uh, I don't know actually how much it is, something like $200 or something. See? Wow. YouTube, I'm telling you, Georgia, YouTube. So, so tell me what, what type of, what, 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 what are you fired up about? Like what type of business are you looking to build like online? Like talk to me. Uh, well, in general, uh, I'm dedicating this year to getting back on track with everything new that's happening in the marketing and to build my own like agency marketing agency and actually now i uh, just migrating one uh, company to kartra and uh, i'm so fired about kartra wow and it has crazy affiliate system which is also good <laughs> yes and see that also that's what i built my youtube channel around i built my youtube channel around doing tutorials around kartra mm, so yeah. so that's what that that's that's one thing you should implement for sure is that no matter what type of business if it's freelancer or agency no matter what, landing pages and capturing leads from the internet is going to be is going to be the number one tool that you're going to be able to have for any client that you're looking to help. So if you just if you just look outside of your uh, in your neighborhood and and look at these different small business owners and and Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads is most likely how you would generate traffic by running these ads. So. In order to do that, most likely we're going to need landing pages, and that's where Karcher comes in play. So if you were to simply just start doing tutorials on YouTube, 
you could start building a huge YouTube channel while you're out there helping other business owners. And that's all I've done. That's all I've done. I have, I help real estate agents. And so to run ads for them requires landing pages. So I just simply built my whole YouTube channel around me doing tutorials around Karcher landing pages. And as a result, again, I have now this YouTube income and also I have the Karcher affiliate income. So all those are happening, happening at the same time as I help real estate agents run Facebook ads to landing pages. That's why like, uh, actually, I, yeah, go ahead. No, go yeah, ahead. Sorry, sorry. Uh, actually, that's how I found you uh, because I was looking for real estate uh, stuff because now I have a client uh, from the States who basically I'm so angry with Facebook because I, I, I was, uh, she is targeting uh, realtors. Like she's providing business services to realtors, but stupid Facebook, <laughs> sorry, is like has all these restrictions about housing and she's in general not putting listings out there, but it still counts her businesses uh, in this uh, category. And it's so annoying because basically uh, she wants to target realtors, uh, female from particular age group. And now it, it, and it's not possible and it's so annoying. Okay, so she, she so she's not a real estate agent. Uh, uh, she is a real estate agent, but she builds her own company, providing business management for real estate agents, like uh, marketing for uh, basically okay. organizing their processes. Okay. And yeah. And so does your does because I know in every country the platform looks a little different. So do you do you remember if your ads manager, your Facebook ads manager, does it look like this? second yeah it does okay so as long as you check this box for special ad category that's all yeah. you got to do is check that box and make sure that this says housing that's it yeah but if you don't do that and a lot of people they'll they'll come to their business page and they'll try to run the ad from the business page from over here they'll boost post and they'll try to run it from over here or they'll try to run it from their cell phone Though, though they may have the Facebook app on their cell phone and they try to run the ad from the cell phone. What I always, always tell people is don't run it that way. Come into your Facebook from a computer and click on create right here at the top and go to add. Or you can click on the drop down over here and go to manage ads and that's going to bring you to the ads manager. And so once you're in the ads manager, let's, let's go to the beginning. All, it, all you're doing is clicking the green button to create an ad. And then once you click this green button over here, let me show you. Once we click on this green button, this right here is what you should see. So I don't know if, if you see this on, on through, your, through your ads manager, but you yeah. should see something similar. It should be the same. Um, but if we just click on that green button, that's what brings us to the ad setup. And again, I speak to real estate agents all the time and they're always wondering why their ads get rejected. It's because they're either trying to run it from their cell phone or they're trying to boost a post from their business page. And if you're doing it that way, then most likely you're not going to see this box. And so if you don't wow. see the box, you're not able to check it. You're not able to choose housing and the ad will get rejected. Yeah. So I only see the box when I run it from my computer and I look at the, I look at the platform from, from this view, that's where I see the box. Um, so as long as you're doing that, that there's no ad, if you're a real estate agent or if you're targeting real estate agents, it should be approved every time. And so the number one yeah, ad- Yeah, but my, uh, my problem is that then uh, all other targeting options disappear like gender and age. Yeah, and that's fine. Things. That's fine. That's you, you don't. And here's the thing about Facebook ads is that that doesn't matter. Like, let's say, for example, let's say, for example, our whole goal is to capture a lead because there, there are different, there are different objectives. So now that we're in the Facebook um, ads manager, these are the three steps, campaign, ad set and ad. So in the objective, if our goal is to capture a lead, then it's going to be conversions. That's where you're going to be 100% of the time. Now, if and, and, and conversions is only if you have a landing page. So that's where Karcher yeah. comes in handy because now we're going to run conversion ads and we're going to drive it to a landing page to capture a lead. If we do not have Karcher or any type of landing page, 
then we'll, we'll, we can run lead generation. And that's when we use Facebook's landing page. So that, those are your two options. Or you can do messages, but I don't, I don't really do messages at all. But, but here's my point is that it doesn't matter which one I choose. If I go conversions, if I go lead generations, video views, the fact that I, I now check the box and now that I'm in housing, it doesn't even matter which one I go with. If I go with engagement, and this is to what you're talking about, if I go engagement and I hit continue, now I come to the ad set, and this is what you're, you're referring to, is the fact that we can no longer choose age or gender. So right and now- And job title. <laughs> yeah, see, so, so now- now those are those are those are um, not available, but here's the thing. That's why the very first ad that you should run. Let's go back to step one. I chose engagement. I'm telling you about conversions. I'm telling you about lead generation. But the very 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 first ad that a person should run is video views, and that's ad number one. Here's what here's here's video views. Video views is, and, and some people like video and some people don't. So the person you're referring to, she may not be comfortable with video. And so if, if that's the case, then you'd, you'd probably have to go with a, an engagement ad. But let's say, for example, she is comfortable with video. Here's yeah, the strategy I that I would do. do it. <laughs> Here's exactly Facebook ad number one. She pulls out her cell phone and she simply introduces herself and tells the people who she's looking for. That's a simple two minute video. Hey guys, this is David. I'm a local real estate broker. I'm actually expanding my team. I'm looking for the top producing real estate agents out here. This is what my company provides. This is what we're able to do. We're able to help you with your marketing. We're able to help you with your lead generation. We're able to train you unlike any other real estate company. And, and, and so what I'm looking for is, is people who are motivated, excited, and, and ready to just have the biggest year that they can possibly imagine in real estate. If that is, is, is you click the button, click learn more, and it'll take you straight to my page where you can fill out, fill out a quick form. That right there is video views. And the reason why that is ad number one is because we're not going to take them to a landing page. It could be simply a send message button. So as we scroll over here, let me show you an example. If we're in the news feed and we're just scrolling through, scrolling through and seeing what people are up to, and then all of a sudden we come across an ad. Anytime we see the word sponsored, now I don't know exactly how it looks in Bulgaria, but where I'm at right now in the US, this is the way an ad looks. We see the word sponsored. As people scroll down on a sponsored ad, there's learn more. Learn more, if I click on learn more, they're taking me to a landing page. Now, in this first video, this first ad that I'm teaching you, when I, when I click on learn more, it can just say send message because what we're doing is we're running a video view. So I'm not, I'm not taking them to a learn more. I'm not taking them to a landing page. Again, if we don't even have a landing page, then if they click learn more, there's no landing page. I'm not looking for lead generation just yet. Now, lead generation would be my ultimate goal, but it's not on Facebook ad number one. Remember, this is Facebook ad number one. Facebook ad number one is going to be video views. And rather than clicking on learn more, there's going to be a click send message just in case someone wants to send a message, but it's not even to generate messages. That's not what this ad is for. The whole purpose of this first ad, because we cannot choose gender, we cannot choose job title, we cannot choose um, 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 gender or age or anything like that. What we're going to do with this one is video views. So if I do a quick two minute video, introducing myself. I am the number one broker. I have been building a real estate business for 15 years. These are the people that I'm looking for. If I do a two minute video like that and just do it on my cell phone and run that under video views, what I'm going to be able to do is create a custom audience of all the people who viewed it. So the only people who are going to view something like that are people that are either real estate agents and even if, even if I cannot choose job title. So let's go video views. Let's, let's see what I would do is I would, I would target, here's how you can do it. So whatever country you could put in the country or you could put in your city, what I would do on the targeting is I would target not the job title, but I would probably target the job, the, the, the actual company. So out here in the U S if I don't target the, the job title, what I would do is I would target the company name. So let's see if I can even type in. Can you do it? 
Keller Williams. Let's see if I can, I would title something around that interest. So if it's not the job title, then I would find something like maybe, maybe more of a general, a general term like real estate. So look, real estate broker, I could target the interest of a person of a real estate broker. I could target the interest of a person that's into, let's just say, real estate license. So someone that has an interest in that, I could target that. But here's the thing. I would put in a handful of keywords like that. And at the end of the day, I'm really looking for my custom audience. So for example, this is a video. Let's say it's a two minute video. Let's say I run it for seven days and I get thousands of people to view it. Facebook is going to allow me to create an audience around all those who viewed it. So if I'm targeting the right interest, at least I can, I can target the right interest. At the end of my seven days, I'm going to have an, a custom audience of thousands of people who viewed it. Then after that, I would run ad number two and Facebook ad number two would now be for either conversions or for lead generation. Again, conversions, if I have a landing page, lead generation, if I do not have a landing page, but this is Facebook ad number two. What I'm going to do now is I'm not going to worry about the gender. I'm not going to worry about the age. I'm not even going to worry about the targeting, the detailed targeting, the interest, real estate broker. I'm not even going to worry about that. What I'm going to do with Facebook ad number two is simply retarget my custom audience of everyone who watched Facebook ad number one. Does that make sense? Yeah, I am. So, so now I create a custom audience of all those who viewed the first video. And now I keep retargeting those because that's going to be thousands of people. Like we're not talking just four people. Like we're, we're talking, talking thousands of people. So, so if I can really focus on one area, I don't want to focus on targeting the whole country just yet. Maybe focus on just her area or focus on, on that local area, wherever you're doing business and get thousands of people to view the video. And again, based on what she's saying, she's telling, she's telling the audience exactly who she's looking for. And so if, if you did a two minute video and you create a custom audience around everyone who watched 60 seconds of it, there's no way that people are going to just sit here for 60 seconds and watch a video when they have no interest. There's no way. Yeah. Like if, if you put out a video, you, people are not going to sit there and watch it if they're not interested. So if, if I can target the interest real estate broker, real estate license, that's going to give me a good targeting of people who fit that interest. And then if I can create an audience of all those who actually watched half of it, that's a good audience. And then now I could just keep running conversion ads to a landing page or lead generation ads to a Facebook form to start generating leads. So, so what I'm trying to say is that it's not about the gender. It's not about the age. It's not even about the, 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 the real detailed targeting. It's about putting out a video view ad first and retargeting those who watch it. That becomes your audience. And, and when you can do a video every week, that's the real game changer. But again, not everyone is comfortable with video. And I, and I get it. But at the same time, if you're looking to build a business in today's time, and if you're looking to build it on social media, you have to start putting out video. The absolute only reason why you found me, Georgia, the only reason why, 1,000%, the only reason why you found me is because of video. That's the only reason. If it was not for video, you would have never found me. If I was putting all this content in a blog, you would have never found me. It's video. It's video, 1,000%. And through a Facebook ad, to be able to target a, a specific location, that's all you, you need to do right now, is target a specific location, talk about who you're looking for in that video, and create a custom audience. And then just create... And, and then just continue to retarget that audience over and over and over with conversions or lead generation ads. So I hope that made sense. Yeah, yeah. thank you. This is actually a very good idea. I was even thinking like if uh, to download like connections from LinkedIn who, who are like uh, realtors and like if to upload this list to Facebook, 
and create custom audience from there. Yeah. You could, you could for sure do that. You could for sure do that. But, but also keep in mind is that let's say you, let's say you get a list from anywhere. You can get a list from anywhere. I take that list. I upload it to Facebook. I create a custom audience around those people and I, and I target them. Those people on that list still don't know me unless they do. Unless yeah. it's a list of all of your LinkedIn contacts and every single one of them knows you. And the only way every single one of them would know you is if you're posting every single day. So if you're not posting on LinkedIn every single day, those people that, are, that you're connected with don't think they know you. They don't know you at all. So if I take that list and I upload it to Facebook and I run an ad to them, automatically we think that it's a warm list and people are going to know us and they're going to opt in and give up their name and number right away. No, they're not at all. And that's why the same strategy applies. I still have to run a video view ad. Now, creating that custom audience, that, that helps a little bit. But at the same time, I still need to create a video view ad. I still need to target them with that and then build another custom audience around those who actually viewed it. So, and then, so uh, to create like a lookalike audience to the one who views. You, you'll do a lookalike audience after you start really penetrating your custom audience. You won't have to do a lookalike audience for, for a long time. And at the same time, Facebook will not let you really create a, an effective lookalike audience until you have out here in the States, it's until you have at least a hundred conversions. So if you can, if you can really start capturing leads off of that custom audience first, then it's good to create a lookalike audience around it, but not, not, not in the very beginning. In the very beginning, you don't need a lookalike audience. That's, that's later. That's later. That's after you've already created a ton of, a, a ton of custom audiences. That's when you've already created, that's when you already captured a lot of leads. Then you create a lookalike audience, but not, not in the beginning. It's not necessary. It won't even be effective at all. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So, um, I just always say, keep it simple, like keep it simple and, and, and start small, you know, but, but also at the same time, you, if you're the freelancer, you're the agency, you're the one looking to help people help these businesses. What I always recommend for you is to stick, stick to one business. So don't try to get a bunch of different kind of clients. Like don't get a dentist and a chiropractor and a real estate agent. Like do not try to get a bunch of different ones. Stick to one. And, 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 and number two, what, what I always recommend is find a niche. Find the type of business that you're excited about. Find the type of business that, 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 that you have a passion in, that, that you may have experience in. And, and, and that's why I, I today focus on real estate agents because forever I've always loved real estate. Forever I've always wanted to invest in real estate. And I also spent six years in the business because that experience right there allows me to talk to these people. Like when I'm talking to my clients today, we talk about real estate related stuff and it allows me to relate to them and, and, and it allows them to know that David knows what he's doing because I come from the industry, right? But if I was, if I was with all this real estate background and all of a sudden I, I, I try building an agency around doctors, I have no clue. I would only be doing that for the money. I would not be doing that because I have experience or because I have a passion or because I have knowledge because I have no knowledge in that. I would only try to do that for the money. And that's not what you want to do. Because there's so much money in any niche. There's so much money in any niche. And, and again, if you can focus on something that you already have experience in, that would, that would be better. Did that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Because, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Yes. This is, uh, <laughs> it's so strange to talk to you because uh, I've been watching your videos for a while. <laughs> Oh, well, you're gonna you're gonna be on my like, next video. I so. that you're speaking. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, wait, let me ask you something useful then. Yes. Okay, can I ask you a question about Kartra? Yes. Okay, so because uh, I'm a little bit confused about the domain situation, if you have a website, 
uh, already running, doesn't matter where, with the domain. You, what kind of domain do you register on Kartra? You buy a different domain, right? Yes, I would, I would get a different domain. Um, or subdomain. No, I, I would get, no, you'd have to get a completely different domain because that, that whether it's a subdomain or an actual domain, that domain is already hosted. It's already pointing to a different website. So yeah. you can't even create a subdomain around it to point to a Kartra website because it's already pointing to a completely different website. So you don't need to do that and you don't want to do that. Just get a completely different name. Um, yeah, what I would do. Isn't it weird then that actually it's not your name then, it's some different domain. What's that? Uh, isn't, doesn't it look weird then because you're posting landing pa sales pages in a different domain actually, which is not your company's name? Well, the Karcher pages, I would create one domain for all the Karcher pages. And I, and I tell people all the time, the Karcher page, landing page software, first of all, is not cheap. Right out here in the in the states, I don't know how much Kartra is in your in your country, but in 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 the U.S. it's it's a hundred dollars a month, which is not even not yeah, even it's cheap. The same price everywhere. Is it the same price over there? So so especially over yeah. there, a hundred dollars, one hundred dollars a month over there is not cheap, right? It's not even cheap over here. A lot of people have a hard time paying a hundred dollars a month for anything, even over here. So I tell people all the time: the only time you even need landing pages is if you're running paid traffic, Facebook ad, Instagram ad, YouTube ad, whatever. If you're actually paying for advertising, that's when you need landing pages. If you're not paying for landing, if you're not paying for traffic, you don't need landing pages. Just go get maybe, maybe set up some free website if you want that. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I, I wouldn't set up landing pages. If I'm not running ads, I would not set up landing pages because I don't want to pay $100 a month just to take a link, just to, just to set up a Kartra link or any landing page link. I don't want to pay a hundred dollars a month just to take it and start posting on social media because my landing page, if I just post it on social media, I put it on LinkedIn, I put it on Facebook, I put it on Twitter. That's not going to get me anything. And that's what everybody tries to do, whether they're affiliate marketing or they're building any kind of business. They'll, they think that they can just post their link all over social media and people are going to, are going to click on it. Like it's not going to happen. Like, especially if you have Facebook and, and, and you have your personal page over here and, and I got, you know, 5,000 friends over here. If I keep posting a link before you know it, these people are going to unfriend me because that's all they see. Oh, David's selling something again. David keeps promoting his business and, and, it, and it just looks bad. It just, it turns people off. And so the link, a landing page, in my opinion, is when, is when I'm running ads. Like it, that, that's when, that's when it's going to be able to pay for itself. So if I'm paying a hundred dollars a month, the only way it's going to pay for itself is if I'm running paid ads to sell whatever the heck I'm selling, because it, it's, it's not going to happen if I just post my link on social media, it's not going to happen. LinkedIn, whatever, it, it's not going to happen. So, so if you have, if you're, if you're paying, if you have paid traffic, then landing pages, then that's when we would go get a new domain. And even in the beginning, you don't even, you don't even need a new, a new domain right now. Like Kartra already provides a link and you can just use that link for now. Like here's the link by default. You have, you have this link. Now, if I have, which I have a domain in here. So if I hit this edit, I can hit the drop down and I can tie it to my domain. So now every page I create inside of Kartra, I can have it around that domain forward slash whatever I want. But I have different domains in here. I mean, I have different pages for different businesses that I have. And so I don't tie everything to this one domain. Um, and and this, this domain that Karcher gives me by default, that's good enough. Unless I'm really, really, really running paid ads. And even if I am running paid ads to this page, this link is fine. Is fine. I, don't, I don't really need a custom domain just yet. I don't recommend that unless you have the money. Okay, great. No big deal. Go get a domain. But that's not something you need to really worry about in the beginning at all. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe because uh, like I'm in this field and I'm all the time checking all the details like uh, domains and what came from where. 
Yeah, you you can and, uh, you can like I only have, don't do anything. Yeah, like I I run multiple businesses out of my Karcher account. Um, like I have one for real estate agents. I have other pages for people who are interested in Facebook ads. Like I have a, I have other pages in my in my Karcher account for people who are interested in in learning how to build a, an agency. Like I have, and I have these different these different pages, these different categories but I don't have custom domains for all of them. And, and, and even if I do, even if I do, I'll set up a custom domain. Actually, I, I do have custom domains. I do have custom domains, but that, that custom domain is not set up in Kartra. <laughs> but, but I don't have it set up in Kartra. In Kartra, I only have one domain. And so this is the one domain that I have. That's the one domain I have. But again, as I mentioned, I have other categories, Facebook ads, agency. I have different pages. So all I do is I have the domain and I just have it forwarded to my Kartra pages. So I'll have like, for example, mm -hmm. Facebook ads for beginners. I have that domain, but it's forwarding whenever anyone clicks on it or whenever anybody goes to it, FB ads for beginners. That's a custom domain that I have through GoDaddy. But whenever anyone goes to it, they're forwarded to my Kartra link. So inside of Kartra, I don't add multiple domains because for one, it costs more. If I added more domains inside of Kartra, they charge me more every month. So I don't need every page built around my custom domain. Some people like that. You might like that. I have one domain and in that category, I have pages built around that domain. But my other categories, Facebook ad, agency, I just have the custom domain that, or the, the, yeah, the default domain that, that Karcher gives me. And I just forward everything to, to these pages. No one cares about that. Like no, no one, no one, no one looks at that. No one cares about that. As long as you have the .com, go get a different .com and then just forward it to the Karcher link. That's all, that's all you need. Um, in my opinion, that's, that's all I do. And, and I, I drive a lot of traffic, you know? Yeah makes sense yeah so so what what are you like ultimately looking to do like what is your ultimate goal like what do you really want to want to want to focus on well you mean uh in general about uh creating an agent here <laughs> what what type of businesses are you looking to go after or help well final building uh situation i'm so excited about funnels <laughs> i just oh. want to build funnels for everybody <laughs> you want to build funnels that's a really good i have um in fact i have a couple videos that are coming out um there's actually two videos that i put out but they're not coming out until i think they're i think they're coming out let me in fact let me show you let me let me because this is this is exactly what i'm talking about um you can build a business and this is what i'm talking about in my video is the fact that you can build a business around funnels alone. So if you, if you built funnels, you could take that funnel and sell it to people all day. Like that's yeah. for sure a, a, good, a good business model for sure. Let me, let me show you real quick. Um, this video is actually, there's actually two videos. I'm walking, I'm walking people through, in video number one, I'm walking you through how to put every put how to package it together. So if you build a funnel, how do we put it all together so we can then sell it to somebody? That video is is this one right here, which is coming out. It's not coming out until the 18th. So right now we're at the 11th. So it comes out next week. But on the that's on the 18th. I'm showing you how to put the funnel together, how to package it all up together. The sequence, the email list, the calendar, the funnel, the landing page. How do I package it all up and sell it to people? That's in this video. And then in the second video, which comes out the next day, which is on the 19th, that video is teaching people how to import it to their account. So if I, if I sell you a funnel, how do you put it in your account? That's what I'm mm -hmm. showing in this video coming out on the 19th. So I also talk about in that video. Yeah, how, definitely this. yeah that alone could be a big business for you just building funnels, not even learning Facebook ads, not even worried about Instagram ads, none of that. You simply build funnels 
for businesses. Now, what, what I also recommend, as I mentioned in the beginning, stick to one business. Stick to one type of business because just like what I did over here, I have a category and my category is under shared funnels. I have five different funnels in here that are ready to go every single time I bring on a new real estate client. Now, what I do in my case is I give it to them because I'm already bringing them on as a client for social media. That's where my real business is at, mm -hmm. is managing their social media, running Facebook ads for them. That's my core business. And, and what I have over here is I give them the funnel. I could easily sell it to them. I could easily sell it to them because it comes with everything. The, the, the landing page, the thank you page, the calendar, the, um, the email sequence, the email list. I have one for a, a, a real estate agent if they're selling a house. I have one for a real estate agent if, they're, if, they're, if they have an open house coming up. I have it for a real estate agent if they're looking to just capture buyer leads or seller leads. I have all this ready to go. And in my case, I give it to them because that allows them to really justify how much I'm charging them in the beginning. Like how much I'm charging them monthly, that justifies it if I just give it to them. But if I didn't want to give it to them, again, that's what I'm talking about in these two videos. If I didn't want to give it to them, I could easily sell it to them. But the reason why I'm telling you to focus on one business is so you can go out and focus and build funnels for one type of business and have 10 of them ready to sell. Because I don't want to create a funnel for a doctor and then go create another one for a, a, a chiropractor and then create a different one for a real estate agent. No, like I want to focus on one because that's going to allow me to focus and, and, and build a bunch of different funnels all for one type of business and then just go sell it to everybody in that industry. Because again, it doesn't matter what industry it is. There's thousands of people in that industry and, and you don't need thousands of clients. You don't, you don't need thousands of sales right now. Like you can go out there and get a few sales and, and, and be financially good. And that's what a lot of people try to focus on. They, they want everybody. You don't need everybody. I talk about that on my YouTube channel all the time. Like I'm already seeing an extra 700 a month from YouTube and that's a small channel. I don't need everyone. Like even at my small numbers, it's still a comfortable income. And so if you focused on one niche and just started getting a few clients and you start getting a few of them per week, let's say you built a funnel and you go after just, I don't know, let's, let's say real estate agents. And, and now you have these funnels ready. You have 10 of them and, and they get to choose which one they want. And, and you go out there and get, let's say you go out there and get two clients a week and you sell each funnel for $500. That's, that's, that's a thousand dollars a week. Just getting two clients. You know, so you don't need a ton of people. You just need a few, in my opinion. And, and, and that al alone could be a lot of income for you, you know? Yeah. So figure out which niche you want to go after and, and what niche you're, you're passionate and excited about and, and what niche you actually have a background in or any kind of experience in. That would really help relate to these people, to these business owners, and they would like you even more. Because marketing services is not easy. Like selling marketing services to businesses that has been going on for hundreds of years. And it, it, and to a certain extent, to a certain, to a certain point, it's actually saturated, meaning there's so many marketing companies, there's so many agencies, but, but, but there, there is a difference between the other 10 agencies that are approaching the same business owner that you are. There's, let's say, for example, there's 10 different agencies that are approaching the same business owner that you're trying to approach, but you're the one that has experience in that industry. And when you're able to talk to them about that and the other nine people don't have that experience, it allows you to stand out. And that's why with me, there's so many agencies that go after real estate agents, but I'm different. And that's what allows me to stand out you, you're different. That's what's going to allow you to stand out. But, but if you're, but if you have no, no passion or, or if you have no experience and you're going after yoga instructors, when you don't even like yoga, it's going to be hard for you to communicate with them. And it's going to, it's going to be hard for them to relate to you because you don't, you don't even like yoga. Right. Yeah. So, so find something that you're fired up about and, and it will just help you close more, more clients. Yeah, actually, I was thinking uh, these days 
uh, because I have background in crowdfunding. And uh, actually, I liked it so much. It was so interesting to work with startups and uh, to collect the funds. And now I'm thinking that these people need the funnels for sure. Because uh, usually these are startups who have no idea about crowdfunding. They don't have, they don't know anything about money raising and all these things. And uh, to be able to give them like such a funnel uh, for every phase of the of the journey, I think this would be great. And, and, and I haven't so, actually investigated if, uh, if somebody's already doing this, but anyway, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if someone is. Here, here, here's what I would, and here's what I'm saying. There's many different startups. Pick one. Yeah. Pick one type of startup. If it's restaurants, let's go after every restaurant. If it's if it's if it's doctors or chiropractors or whatever, let's go after all of them. Let's let's help all the startups in that industry. Pick one. Mm -hmm. And then and then number two is I would only focus on the landing page and the thank you page. Because all anybody cares about, it's not the entire funnel. It's not, it's not everything that happens after, after the lead is generated. 100%, every small business owner is willing to pay you to have that lead come in. That's it. Whatever happens after that is not your responsibility. If you can help bring in that lead, that's what they pay you for. So if you just had a simple funnel, that's why with mine, it's a simple funnel. It's, it's the landing page, the thank you page, and then, of course, the email list and the email sequence. That is it. My job is to bring traffic. My job is to create a funnel that's going to allow you to capture the lead. That is it. What happens after that is your job. So you're going to pay me 1000 a month. You're going to pay me 1500 a month. You're going to pay me whatever. Or if I'm just selling you the funnel one time, okay, you're going to pay me $500 because without this, there is nothing else. If we can't get people to this one single page, nothing else matters. Not, not the extensive funnel, not, not all the, the back end part of it. None of that matters. If I can't create this front end for you, nothing matters. So, so to make it easy for you, this is all you need to do. The landing page, that's the landing page. When people opt in, they end up going to, let me show you the next page. They end up going to the thank you page, and this is all part of my package. So again, I could easily sell this to somebody, but what I do is I just give it to all my new clients, and, and I charge them for other services, but, but it's just a bonus that they get. So, so the, thank, the, the landing page to capture the lead, and then the thank you page to get them to schedule an appointment. Once they click on that button, then they come to a calendar that I set up for them inside of Kartra, and that is the front end. I'm telling you, every business will pay you for that alone. And that, that just makes it easier for you. And again, if we can focus on one type of startup, then you can go out there and create many of these different funnels and have many of them ready to sell to many of them in that same niche. And then after you get a few clients, you start using the ones that you have as case studies or testimonies. Like if you had, if you went after, let's just say restaurants and you had this funnel for a restaurant and then you, you sold it to them. When you go after another restaurant, you get to show that other restaurant what you did for the previous restaurant. And you get to keep doing, that's what's going to help you get more clients. When I get clients, I show them what I did for other real estate agents. But if I showed them, hey, if I said, hey, Mr. Real Estate Agent, let me show you what I did for this doctor. Let me show you what I did for this restaurant. Let me show you what I did for this yoga instructor. The real estate agent's going to be like, David, that's not even my business. But if I say, hey, real estate agent, let me show you what I did for this agent. Let me show you what I did for that agent. Let me show you what I did for this other agent. Then, the, then they see themselves. They're like, wow, okay, you did that for my other real estate agent and they're a competitor of mine. Yeah, for sure. I need you to do that for me. So it allows me to get even more business and have more credibility because I'm focused on one and, and, and it allows me to get more clients faster. 1000%. Every time I show a client, a previous client and what I did for them, they want my services right away. It's how I close clients. And, and that's what you want to do. 
and 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 it, and again, it's going to allow you to just create a bunch of funnels around one type of business, and it, it makes it much easier for you. Yeah, definitely. You know, so I think you can really, really, really be successful. But at the same time, you need one. You need one client. And here's what I would do with in 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 with all this as well. I would go get one client. And then I would help them get be successful. In this case, let's say we build a, build a funnel for a restaurant. Once you build that funnel and then you sell it to that restaurant and you help that restaurant get started with it, then you record a video telling, telling, telling us what you did. That becomes your Facebook ad. Now you have a case study. Now you have a testimony. Now you, you, you're able to take that, that, that um, experience put a three minute video out and target other people who own restaurants and say, Hey guys, this is Georgia. Just wanted to come on screen share and show you what I did for another previous restaurant owner. I built a funnel and with this funnel, they're able to capture leads and get a ton of people on their email list so they can then start emailing different promotions for the restaurant. If you'd like me to do something like this for you, feel free to reach out to me. See, now you have a testimony. That would happen after you sold your first funnel, for example. Now, for you to get client number two, client number three, client number four, now you are running Facebook ads showing them your testimony. And, and, and now we're going to target other restaurant owners, and those restaurant owners are going to see your video and say, man, I would love something like that. Let me, let me reach out to Georgia. And before you know it, you start selling. If you're selling these funnels for 500 bucks, you start running Facebook ads targeting other restaurant owners, you're going to start selling a few of these a day. And, 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 and that's why you don't have to sell it for a lot, you know, $500, 500 bucks for my entire funnel. Business owners will pay you for that. And if you can run Facebook ads and, and start selling two to three of those a day, there's not many people in your country that make that kind of income. There's not that many people in my country that make that kind of income. But it all starts with one. It all starts with the testimony. And then, and then you turn that testimony into a Facebook ad and you focus on one niche. And you just keep repeating, 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 repeating and selling them the same funnel, selling people the same funnel. That's, that's another thing that's really powerful is that you don't, you don't even have to create a bunch of different ones. Create a couple good ones and you, with those, you keep reselling them. So you don't have to sell a business owner a different funnel, sell them the same damn funnel. <laughs> ever me does that make sense yeah definitely you're so motivating i, I feel like i need a youtube channel now and so <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then <laughs> what you do with all this stuff that you're planning on doing you start recording it you start recording it and that becomes your youtube channel and then you become a Kartra affiliate and you put your affiliate link in the description and people start signing up with Kartra with your affiliate link. And now we're building a YouTube income. Now we're building a Kartra income because every single person that you sell a funnel to, they have to have a Kartra account. So they sign up with your affiliate link and then you transfer the funnel over to them. So now we have a YouTube income. Now we have a Kartra income. And now we're running Facebook ads, showing people our testimony and how we're able to help business owners with these funnels. And now you have that income coming in as well. So multiple streams of income is, is super important, but, but you don't, you don't want to start too fast. Start slow. Think of what niche you want, build a couple funnels for that niche and then, and then, and then go from there. Sell your first one and, 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 and document. Hey guys, this is Georgia. Just wanted to sell you. I just wanted to show you a funnel that I just built for a client of mine. They just purchased it a couple minutes ago and I'm fired up. Let me show you the funnel that I sent them and let me show you how, how this can help your business as well. And that's your Facebook ad. And, and before you know it, people are clicking on learn more. They're coming over to your page and they're buying the funnel or they're scheduling a call with you to talk about how they can, build, how they can buy your funnel. So keep it simple. Keep it simple. There, with the internet and with everything that's going on, there's so many different opportunities, but you got to just find your opportunity. And I truly believe it starts with your passion. It starts with what you're excited about. It starts with what you have experience in, because if it's not that, 
you're going to go, you're going to be doing it just for the money. And trust me, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Like in order for you to stay, like I, I eat and breathe and sleep this stuff only because it fires me up. Like only because it, it excites me. Like I can be on this stuff all damn day. That's why I take these free calls with you guys because I could talk about this stuff all damn day. But if it was something that I was not oh excited God, thank about. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it so much. This is, it, you're, you're so, so welcome. But if I wasn't excited about it, you wouldn't get my time. Because I'm not excited about it. Right? So you have to create content and document what you're excited about. You have to go after niches that you're excited about. Because if you're not, it's going to be so easy for you to quit and nothing will ever get done. So have some passion and, and, and find that niche and reach out to me anytime. So if you, if you, any other random questions come up, email me and we'll always jump on another call and I can help you any way I can. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You're awesome. There's like yes. not so many people like you in this world. <laughs> God bless you. Right on. I appreciate it, Georgia. Email me or you have the link to my calendar. So if anything else comes up, you know, feel free to, to you know, click my link and, and schedule the call and I'd love to help you any way I can. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Rachel. Yes, Georgia. Take care, okay? I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Thanks. bye. Okay, bye-bye.